In this series of videos, we will try to understand projection of vectors. Now I have few communication questions where I will explain the answer, but you know, I will first give you the answer. At times, the explanation may not be required. So you can skip the video and save your time, right? But if you feel worthwhile going through the explanation, you may. Now question number one is C1, which says the vector V45 is projected on x axis. What is the scalar projection and what is the vector projection? That means scalar projection of vector v on x axis. So the scalar projection of this is the x component which is 4 and the vector projection is also the x component 4 but it is in the direction of x axis so it is 4 unit vector i. So that is kind of a major difference between scalar and vector projection. Now, scalar projection is just the magnitude and vector projection, as the name suggests, includes the direction. But, well, when we are talking about vectors and projections, as far as I am concerned, when I say that vector V is projected on X axis, it's quite clear what the direction should be. But, you know, we have terms scalar and vector projection and we'll stick to it from now onwards. Whenever we say scalar projection, we are only considering the magnitude, fairly knowing in which direction it is. Now, when we say vector projection, we have to signify and write down the direction. Now, let's try to understand from here and explore what really we are getting into. So, this is 2D. I have taken this particular example. It's simple, but it explains the concept. Now, when we have a vector v, 4, 5, then what it really is, it's a position vector which starts from origin 0 and along the x-axis it is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 units. Along the y-axis is 5 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And when we connect this, let me connect it with some different link. When we connect this, we get a vector. And this vector we are saying vector v, right? We call it this as a vector v and the components are 4 and 5. Now, when we say vector v is projected on x-axis, then literally we are saying component of vector v along x-axis, this x-axis, that is. So, we drop a perpendicular from here and find where it falls. So, in this case, it will be at 4, right? So, that is the vector, uh, that is the projection of the vector on x-axis. Now, when we are asking for scalar projection, then we just give you the magnitude 4. And when we are asking for vector projection, then we specify the direction, right? Similarly, if I have to find scalar and vector projections along y-axis, then the answer would be 5 for scalar projection and 5j. That becomes 5j. The component along the y-axis. Correct? So that is how we have to find vector and scalar projections. I hope you understand. And with this, we will explore this chapter further on. Thank you.